Hello everyone and welcome to today's look. So today's look is an Arabian inspired makeup look which I have used the elements of mystery as well as eternal youth with all this gore happening right now. So since you click on this video you wanted to watch it so continue watching. First I'll start with priming my face with NYX's HD Primer Base. Next, I'll be using NYX's HD Studio Photogenic Foundation in the shade Natural Beige. This is a little darker than my skin tone, so I'll be adding another foundation that is a little lighter and then mixing it together. Next, I'll be using NYX's Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Vanilla and applying that all over my face as well. And for a nice airbrush finish, I'll be using this sponge and just patting the product all over my face is it patting dotting dabbing whatever it is i'm not rubbing or brushing i have no idea guys but basically i'm this is what i'm doing Next, I'll be using NYX's Gotcha Covered Total Concealer. It's waterproof and it's in the shade Light. It's a full coverage concealer, so I'll be putting this underneath my eyes just to really brighten that up. Next to contour my face, I'll be using NYX's Wonder Stick and this is in the shade Medium. I'll be using the contour shade first and applying that on the areas that I want to create depth and then afterwards I'll be using the light shade and applying it just at that cheek area to, br not to brighten, sorry, to lighten that area up. So comes the part that is the most important to nail for this look, which would be the eyebrows. Arabian makeup looks usually have very thick but defined eyebrows, so I'm, that's what I'm going for. A very nice arch. At the same time, I will also be taking the product a little bit closer to the center because I really want that whole bushy eyebrow kind of look. But I'll be blending it nicely so it does not look as weird on me. So now taking NYX's micro brow pencil, I will be using the other side and just combing my eyebrow hairs up so that I can actually get a better look when I'm actually filling it in with the eyebrow pencil. This eyebrow pencil is in the shade Noir Black, so it's really good for darkening that eyebrow. I prefer to draw it on first and then darken it other, rather than just darkening it from the start. So next to define the brow, I'll be using this NYX Gotcha Cover Total Concealer Pencil in the shade Light. And I will be just going over my brow shape and then blending that all nicely so you don't see any harsh lines. Okay, so next I'll be using NYX's eyeshadow base and I'll be applying it all over my eyelids. I personally love this and I cannot wear eyeshadow without this. This just helps my eyeshadow to stay and it's much easier to blend the eyeshadow on, has that gradient look. So first I'll be starting with the crease shade and I'll be taking this fluffy brush and just using this light purple shade and applying it on both of my creases because who only does one eye? Okay. 
Okay, so taking a slightly darker purple, I will be applying it on my outer corner and just blending that in to create the illusion of depth. And then I will also be blending that really nicely. And I actually held the palette up because my mirror was a bit too far. But then that w I regretted the decision because it was kind of heavy and my hands started to ache. So yeah. So now taking that concealer again, I will be applying it on my hand and I'll be using this brush right here and just applying it on my lids. This is because I'm going to create a cut crease because the Arabian makeup look requires big eyes, something that I do not have naturally. So a cut crease is the way to go. So now I'm going to be taking this white eyeshadow and just applying it on the places where I actually put the concealer to set the concealer in. Next I'll be deepening the crease with a little bit more of a darker purple and just blending that on the outer corner and bringing it in. This is going to create a, a depth of illusion and, and the, a depth of illusion and the illusion of depth and it's going to make my eyes look much deeper and much bigger. I'll also be putting a little bit in the inner corner just so that I get this really nice shape on my eyes. Now taking NYX's Hot Singles Eyeshadow in the shade Fetish HS71, I'll be applying that on my lid very nicely. Then I'll be taking NYX's pigment in the shade Gunmetal and I'll be applying that on the lid as well. This is a very nice grey silver-ish shade and I'm so in love with it. I'll be using my fingers because that's the best way I find to apply pigments. Okay, so for Arabian makeup looks, usually liner would be the start of the show. It would be very thick and it winged out. But I'm working with the space that I have, so it will be fairly thicker than my usual liner. But it will not be too thick that it will look very unflattering and close my eyes entirely. And also another tip is that if you're trying to go for a very feline wing, in my opinion, especially since I've been researching on... Um, Arabian makeup looks, they actually bring their liner to the inner corner and just wing that out as well. Okay, so now taking NYX's uh, retractable eyeliner pencil in the shade Silver, I'll be applying that underneath my eyes to widen and brighten my eye. Usually, most Korean pop stars use this concept where they apply either white or silver at their waterline to really open their eyes, but since I'm trying to open my eyes for this look, I'll be doing that concept. Once I'm done with that, I'll take this smudging brush and I'll just smudge it underneath where I put the silver to really open up my eyes. Next, I'll be taking NYX's No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Mahogany. So, I'll be using this as a bronzer and to contour my face. I'll be applying this right at the cheekbones. Just trying to get that depth, trying to look slimmer. You get the concept. Next, I'll be taking NYX's Sweet Cheeks Blush Palette. I'll be taking this coralish, orange-ish shade, and I'll be applying this on my cheeks. Next, I'll be taking this warm-ish color highlight inside this palette. I think it's a blush, but I'll be using it as a highlight. It looks so good, so I'll be applying that. Final touches, lipstick red. I chose red because red is a very nice dark color. And usually, this is this look is mainly revolving around dark shades. Then this was perfect for it. 
So basically, that's it for the first half of this tutorial. Okay, so I've already removed all my lipstick and we'll be starting with the second tutorial of this look which is ripping my mouth. So first I'll be starting with applying the scar wax and just blending that into my skin. Sort of like my previous tutorial, it's just that I'm going to be doing this much neater this time. So I'll be applying it, um, generally I'm going around the area of the mouth and it will look something like this once you're done blending. I just fast forwarded it because it's the same thing, just smudge it with your hands, make it blend into your skin. And then to make it simple, I will be painting on my teeth. So I'll be starting with this black as a guideline and then just going over with white. And then I will be darkening the sh sides with black, defining it so it looks like teeth. Because right now it kind of just looks like white blobs. So I'll be using this red shade and just painting on my gums and it doesn't really have to be neat because I'll be layering it on with blood afterwards. Just remember to not get it on the teeth. So now I'll be taking a foundation shade that suits my skin tone perfectly and I'll be applying that on the scar wax so it blends in better with my skin tone and looks much more natural. Then like I said, I would be applying blood in, in the... What, what, what would I call it? Mouth flaps? Yeah, I'll be applying blood so that it looks like a ripped mouth. And then I will be using a little bit of brown eyeshadow as well as like blueish yellowish to create like a bruised effect around the mouth afterwards i'll be applying blood to give this really gory and realistic illusion to the look although the teeth isn't as defined as i thought it would be applying a little bit of blood on my mouth and then down my neck to create that i just ate a person kind of effect to this look I just ate a person for eternal youth. That was actually what I was going for. So this is like a machi that ate a person for eternal youth. Yep. So that's a wrap, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to show your support. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye.